सो व्हाट्सअप एवरीबाडी वील स्टार्टिंग विद आर न्यू लेसन विच इज द ओवर विच इज ऑन आर थ्रो पोर्ट्स एंड इट्स अ पार्ट ऑफ द कोर्स ऑन एनिमल क्लासिफिकेशन इट्स प्रेजेंटेड बाई मी इफ्तार खान सो यू कैन फॉलो मी एट अन अकेडमी डॉट इन स्लैश यूज स्लैश इफ्तार खान एंड लेट्स गेट स्टार्ट सो आर थ्रो पोर्ट्स आर द मोस्ट सक्सेसफुल ग्रुप ऑफ एनिमल्स ऑन द होल ऑफ एनिमल सिस्टम दे हैव द मोस्ट नंबर of species and the most number as in regards to population so they have a segmented body which can be differentiated into head thorax and abdomen and the head and the thorax may be fused to form a cephalothorax so uh, when we say arthropod arthros means uh, jointed and pods means leg so they have jointed legs for locomotion and they mostly have one pair each on some on or all the body parts which means some of the body parts may not have even a single pair of leg the exoskeleton is chitinous and which is shed at intervals and the process is known as molting they are usually unisexual and and they exhibit sexual dimorphism which means we can differentiate the male from female on external appearance the larvae undergo metamorphosis to develop into the adult so they have larvae the development is indirect they also may have compound eyes which have uh, subunits called omatidia uh then talking of the circulatory system they have an open circulatory system without vessel and they have the body cavity uh, called hemocele which is filled with fluid called hemolymph so hemo from the hemolymph seal from for the cavity so they can have different habits it they can be solitary which can be independent or isolated they can be colonial that is a group of interdependent individual in the case of colony of ants they can be gregarious which means a group of independent individuals example is locust which damages our crops uh then we come uh, right up to the reason for the success of arthropods so they have been uh, on earth for a lot of time still they are very successful and uh, what are the reasons for that uh so basically a uh, chitinous exoskeleton is the most important reason which uh, prevents any loss of water because it is impermeable and the water exchange is only through the mouth and the anus then the next thing is their jointed appendages these jointed appendages acts as a lever which helps in decreased energy consumption and increased conservation of energy they also help in better defense and better offense as they are faster than their counterparts and they have a better output then the another reason for their success is the skeletal muscles which are attached with the skeleton and they provide better control on locomotion as well as better power few of the examples of these are apis which is the honey bee bombyx which is the silkworm lacifer which is a lac insect all these three are commercially important as they give us honey silk and lac respectively then we have uh, some of them uh, which are harmful to us and awfully is culex and ad it's not and this it's a e d e s so these are uh, the species of mosquitoes then we have the living fossil which is limulus or the king crab it is called a living fossil uh, because it has a uh, primitive features but it belongs to the arthropods and it hasn't changed in uh, the so many years it has been on earth uh, then we go right into the classification it, it is divided into many classes out of those four are important for us the crustacea myriapoda insecta and arachnida so i'll i am giving you this table to make it really easy for you you can pause the lesson here and go through this table so i'll just read it out for you so uh the arachnids are basically all the ones which are present with eight limbs yeah like this it includes the scorpion uh the spider sometimes the cyclops not not really the cyclops uh the uh, ticks and mites as well 
so they have a cephalothorax with two chelis ray and two pedipalpi they are basically the bandages which help in, in the sensory input and protection against the defense against the prey the predator they also have a four pair of walking legs uh, the abdomen usually lacks the legs and the eyes are simple as compared to all the other classes which have compound eyes the example as i told you is scorpion then we have crustacea in which the body is covered with a dorsal covering which is known as carapace remember carapace then we have a cephalothorax uh, which has 13 pair of legs or appendages and the sex are usually uh, separate they have compound eyes and one of the most important example is prawn we had more examples like cyclops and others but you need to remember prawn only then we have myriapoda the uh, body with a uh, numerous segments is present so uh, if you have seen uh, so each segment bears one to two pairs of legs uh, and they are basically terrestrial and air breathing arthropods they have compound eyes and the most important examples are scolopendra and which is a millipede centipede is not important uh that because of different class we have millipede which is also known as scolopendra then we have the insecta which has a body divisible into head thorax and abdomen the thorax as uh, is three segmented and has three pair of legs in each segment three pair of legs one in each of the segments usually usually a uh, two pair of wings on the last two thoracic segments are present and the eyes are usually compound the most important example is cockroach so uh, one of the important mcq that paripatus is considered as the connecting link between annelida and arthropoda just because it has the features of both the phyla so uh, these are the pictures you can look at this is the locust which is a gregarious pest and it's very harmful for the it's very harmful for then we have this image of the butterfly very commonly known then we have the scorpion belonging to arachnida then we have the prawns which belongs to a uh, crustacea so that's it for arthropoda that's all you need to know uh, stay tuned for more lessons thank you cheers